Good morning and welcome to What's Up Kansas City. We're in the lovely Vine District, the historical Lincoln Building on 18th and Vine. And this morning we have the proud pleasure to have in our presence Mrs. Smith from <laughs> the Linwood Family YMCA. How you doing? I'm doing well and welcome. Thank you. I appreciate the invite. Well, all right. We appreciate you coming today. Uh, let's get into the interview. Okay. Okay, tell the audience, who are you? Okay, well, Stephanie, um, I am a mother, okay. I'm a, a, a caregiver, um, a lover of the community, um, see myself as an a advocate um, for many uh, different good causes. Um, currently, I serve as the executive director of the Linwood Family. Why? Is that what you was going for? Well, <laughs> it's good to know that you're a mom. Yes. A caring mom. Yes. Okay. A loving wife. And wife. A okay. good friend. Okay. Um, but I definitely um, am excited about the role I currently play mm -hmm. um, as an executive director of the Linwood Y. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell the audience about the, um, well, let's talk about the the, the, the Linwood Family Wives. Yes. Let's talk about that. So the Linwood Family Y um, is a great staple in the community. Of course, we have a history um, that started uh, just right across the street from where we sit right now with mm -hmm. the Paseo Y. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we were excited um, in 1975, the Linwood Family Y picked up the pieces of legacy from the Paseo Y and opened. Um, and so just really been a place in the community where people can uh, join together and hopefully pursue a healthy and happy life. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that happy and healthy life. Uh, I know you, you, you have a couple of premier programs mm -hmm. and I read about healthy living, social responsibility and youth development. Absolutely, so you just mentioned the three kind of tenets or what we are about at the Y, the youth development, the healthy living, and the social responsibility. And so um, at the Linwood Family Y, we have our youth development continuum. I mean, think about it. In our area, we have over 3,000 children that live in and around um, the Linwood community. And so we really seek to serve not only those young people, mm -hmm. but what we call their ecological perspective. So those people that also support them. So that's where we... Um, engage the families, the relative caregivers, the neighbors, and so it's just been a great um, place to create opportunities for great things to happen. Mm -hmm. Mind, body, heart, soul, and spirit. That's right. That's what you affected. Holistically. Okay. That's right. That's spirit, mind, and body. Uh -huh. Yo, uh, uh, what, what gave you that mindset to, to come in? Was that a national theme or was that something you came up with? Well, I mean, I, my background is as a social worker. So as a social worker, our principles um, are to meet people where they're at and to, you know, really serve people holistically. And so that's just my philosophical approach mm -hmm. to all that I, I do. Um, and so, and I think it fits very nicely with the YMCA, just our national movement of being able to serve people in spirit, mind, and body. Mm -hmm. And so at Linwood, we're able to do that in, in several different ways through several different programs. Um, and the community has responded amazingly to it. That's very good. Yeah. You know, I told you previous, previously that I grew up at the Passell YMCA. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Gates is redoing it and restor rest doing restoration That's on right. it now. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be the Buck O'Neill Educational Learning Center. It's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what? It, when you're small, things look so big. Uh -huh. And so I helped do the, the excavation or the interior demolition on the building with, along with some other men. Yeah. And one thing I wanted to see was the <laughs> swimming pool. Yeah. And that swimming pool, look, it's big as my, big my seat. <laughs> it was a narrow as my, I mean, this pool, it was all concrete. I don't even know, I know. if it had a filter seat. <laughs> and they, you made it. Well, I think what they did was just take a, a trash can top and oh, just put some chemicals in there and throw it, throw it, in it out. There, <laughs> and wait in there, then y'all can jump back That's in That's right, and you made it through. <laughs> yeah, man, it's just, it's just amazing. But that yeah. thing was so narrow, but I have a lot of fond memories right. of being involved in the uh, Purcell YMCA. Yeah as a child with summer camp in uh, uh, Osage, mm -hmm. of, uh, Missouri, uh, yeah. Camp uh, Santa Sage or something like that. Look at that. But uh, great men and the Negro Leagues, mm -hmm. that's where they used to stay at the Pacel. That's right. At the Pacel West. You know, did you ever talk to Mr. Corning? 
No, you asked me that earlier, and there's so many others that I've been able to reach back and connect with. Harold Mazzell, yes. uh, Mike Hughes, yeah. um, Wade Banks, just a lot of different in individuals. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I love to sit at the feet and hear stories like yours mm -hmm. and, and theirs and so many others because that is, that's what we're building on, right? So mm -hmm. when we talk about energy um, being neither created nor destroyed, just transferred, we mm -hmm. want to take all that good and positive energy mm -hmm. um, uh, that Paseo was able to provide just like you had some really great summer experiences and all throughout the year. That's right. Kids today deserve that same opportunity. And so at the Linwood Family Y, they're able to come in after school. We have the after school program called Launchpad, which is an opportunity for young people to have a safe place. And not just a safe place, because that's just a, a minimum standard that we should have in throughout our community, but a place that pours into and enriches our young people. And so students are able to engage in, in various enrichment um, activities, field trips, um, engage in arts and science. And so um, we are excited for them to come back, what, 40, 50 years later, like yourself, right. and sit right. in a place and say, you know what, I remember at the Linwood Why I learned how to do this. I right. learned how to be a better man. I learned how to, you know, take care of my family. Those are the things we want people to say years to come. L let me ask you this. Um, the reason why I want you to talk to Mr. Corny, because mm -hmm. I still think there's a debate about when the when it opened. When it opened. <laughs> okay. And Mr. Corny and uh, Samuel uh, or Purcell, okay. uh, uh, they were contractors on that project. Okay. Now, Mr. Corny is, we interviewed him uh, last year. He's, what, 80, 90, 90 some wow. years old. So you need to talk to him. I will do that. And he will bring. Clarity. And he will bring it all together for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll yeah. do that. We'll yeah. add his. Because I know I jumped. Piece. I know I jumped over that fence at nighttime to go. You swimming, said that to go swimming before seventy five. Okay, so that means you got to come in and work that away with some volunteer work. Then. Well, I'll be more than happy. To do that. <laughs> all right. Okay, let's talk about this. Uh, the why so much uh, more annual campaign. Let's talk about that. So you know, at Linwood, why I've been able to be the exec for about three and a half years, which has been an exciting experience and to be able to um, c build a, that spirit of philanthropy which I will tell you us as a community we're very communal and we always kind of have this spirit of collectivism mm -hmm. and so there is um, there is this is not new right so right. we call it our annual campaign but black churches across this nation have have uh, thrived on this principle that everybody has a place everybody matters and so um, this is what our so much more campaign is all about it's twofold it's one to continue to engage and educate our community around us mm -hmm. that the why is so much more than just coming and learn how to swim That's right. or playing basketball That's right. like I said we have our youth development programs we have holistic wellness program so crime disease self-management wellness on the shoestring budget we have sports there's so many things going on so that's one piece of it is just sharing the information of who we are and then the second piece is to engage people to be a part of that process this is a cause and mission driven work mm -hmm. and so we want people to be able to be a part of that so whether it's five dollars fifty dollars Five hundred and fifty thousand dollars. There's a place at the table, and there's room at the table for input. And so our community has had such an amazing response. We've gone from before I got there, I think the Linwood Y raised about two thousand five hundred dollars. Now we're up to thirty-five thousand dollars, and that's people in and throughout our community raising their hand, saying yes. I want to be a part of the great things that are happening. So we really appreciate those families. Um, we appreciate people from fixed incomes to all type of uh, income structures saying, you know what, I want to be a part of this. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Now, let's talk about this great big vision that Yay. you have about the the... The new building. The new building, um, which, you know, when we think about facilities, you know, think about it like you're in the kitchen and all the different tools that you need. You need the pots and the pans and all that. And so um, we are excited about being able to add this new tool to help us better serve and engage the community. And that is our $7 million capital campaign project. Mm -hmm. We are in the midst of that project. Uh, it's very exciting to see um, different uh, supporters who love and have love for and towards the Linwood community um, to come together. And so September 20th, of this year we will have our community campaign kickoff mm -hmm. and this is our time to once again not not start or begin to engage but to continue to engage the community and we are asking the community to come out all of our residents our neighbors um, those like yourself that have a connection 
with Linwood. You may have been uh, disconnected or separated from it for whatever reason, but we're asking those people to come back to pour into, like you said, this new vision, this new reality mm -hmm. of it. And so um, that is September the 20th, which is a Saturday. It is from uh, 10 to 1, and it's just going to be a time where the community come together. And once again, as we do for the annual campaign, we're asking people to raise their hand and say, well, why are you building the Y? Everybody has their reason. Mm -hmm. As you think about it, you may um, want to join in because you say, you know what, I want kids to have a positive experience like I did. Mm -hmm. And so that would be your reason. The principal across the street may say, you know what, I want to make sure that we have a safe community that extends past my doorstep and, and we continue to build our urban campus. Everybody has a reason and we want everyone to know that that reason matters and come together so we can continue to finish out this project. Okay, now give us the date again. Talk to the camera. The date is September the 20th, 10 a.m. to 1. It's going to be at the Linwood Family Y. We are so excited. We have so many different community partners. Uh, I believe we got confirmation yesterday that the Marching Cobras will be there. I may, I may have said that too soon, but we uh, are delighted with the contact that we've had with them. They're excited to come and celebrate. Think rally. Think excitement. Think bringing the community together, um, and we're excited to do that. Every third Saturday of each month, we have a community day that is always um, free and open to the public. We have different themes. In July, it was water safety and awareness. So we were able to um, really live. We had a big community pool party. So we had mamas in there getting their hair wet, doing the wobble in the in the water. You got to see it. Uh, we get our hair wet, right? And so, um, and you know, we want to create opportunities for families to play together. We know that families that play together stay together, mm -hmm. just as families that pray together stay together. That's right. And so um, we're always excited to create those opportunities. But September the 20th, it will be our community engagement where we're bringing bringing everybody together to celebrate this new vision. And you'll, you'll make that big announcement then, right? Yes, we'll make our big announcement. Okay, then now <laughs> tell them again, just to date, the address and where you're located. So the Linwood Family Y, located at 3800 East Linwood Boulevard, um, uh, across from the uh, historic Central uh, High, now uh, Central right. Academy of Excellence. Fighting Blue Eagles. That's for all yes. of you lovely Fighting Blue Eagles. Uh -huh. <laughs> Right. But uh, just Please. join us, <laughs> join us uh, at 10 a.m. Um, as other uh, service providers and community leaders come together to celebrate uh, the new Linwood Y, we will begin our community campaign. So as the kickoff to our community campaign, we'll talk about what the amenities will be in the new facility, which yes. we're really excited to make those announcements to the community. I think that um, it'll be just a great time. Linwood Family YMCA on a closing note. Hit us with passion, purpose, and creativity <laughs> of the Linwood Family YMCA. So, you know, passion, purpose, and creativity um, is all about us positioning ourselves and creating opportunities for people to do exactly that. To learn what you're passionate about through our various enrichments and family activities, people can uncover what they're passionate about or at least be able to express those things. The creativity um, of it all is that program innovation, being um, creating relevant opportunities for people to come together and addressing things that matter to the community. We always want to be relevant. Um, and, you know, this work is all purpose driven. And so. Um, I like that purpose driven. Yeah, it is. And, you know, we have to begin to live on purpose, right? That's right. And do things purposeful. And so at Linwood, I'm so excited about our team, our associates, and our volunteers do an amazing job serving this community. Shout out to all of our Linwood associates who wake up every morning with our community um, on their minds and also our volunteers that take their time, talent, and treasure to support this cause. You find your purpose, you'll get your passion, That's right? right. That's and happening. passion creates a lot of energy and synergy. It does. It, it does. does. It's infectious. It is. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure to have Miss Smith with us from the Linwood Family YMCA. Yeah. And I will tell you today, go all in because it's not how you start but how you finish. That's right and support Cascade Media on 18th and Vine. Come by and visit us up on the second floor of the historic Lincoln Building. Go all in. It's not how you start, but how you finish. Thank you. Thank you. CMG wants you to always remember the victory we call success goes to the best prepared. When you invest in your community, you're really just investing in yourself. Thanks. Thanks.